I get older and the words on the card get fuzzier, hmm. what can I be doing and all the people like me be doing to, to keep me from going deeper, deeper, deeper into the fuzz? Okay, well, first, you know, you still may need reading glasses. I'm not going to say Got them right that <laughs> this is going to eliminate yeah. them. But we do want to see if we have, you know, can we slow down the deterioration? And the way to slow down the deterioration is, as we talked about, is through nutrition, possible herbal medicine, and eye exercises. Let's talk about exercises. So exercises, again, the first one that's the most important is to get the flexibility and the adaptability of the intraocular muscles. So I have two ways of doing that. One is we just put up our finger like this at about six to eight inches, and we look at our finger for a count of two. One, two, and then look across the room for a count of two. One, two, and then back to your finger. One, two, and then go back across the room. So you go back and forth maybe 10 to 15 times. And again, this is building <coughs> up the flexibility of our muscles to be able to to focus near and far, because it gets harder as we get older. The lens doesn't adjust as easily. Correct. Right. The other one that I love is that you take your two index fingers, you hold them about six to eight inches away from you, you look across the room between those two fingers, and you'll see like a little, like mini hot dog, like a little cocktail hot dog floating between your two fingers. And then you count to two, one, two, and you look right at your fingers and it goes away. One, two, and then you get it back. So again, this is helping your two eyes maintain flexibility and adaptability. And the little hot dog is a combination of the inputs from your two eyes. So it lets you know that your two eyes are working together to do this. Yeah, it was amazing. When I was, I was doing that the other night, again, when I was getting ready for our conversation, it felt so good that just, it was so relaxing to, to let my eyes go beyond. So I could definitely feel the difference. And it's really great for parties if you don't know what to say to somebody. <laughs> you go, check this out. Either that or you start doing it and they go, who is that oddball in the corner? Right. Perfect. And it was interesting. Right. I gave one lecture a couple of weeks ago to a group of seniors 80 years above, and they were all giggling and right. loving it. Right. And then I gave a group for some sixth graders. Right. So it's good for any age. Should, good question. Should we have younger people doing those same things? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And all the exercises that I'm talking about should be done. Uh, I think they should be done as part of the curriculum in our school systems because our curriculum, our school systems, focuses so much on non-focusing. Uh, I mean, total over-focusing, but not flexibility. Right. Great. All right. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor, do the social thing, share it, tell your friends, tell your family. It's great information for all.